Heavy rainfall events can cause problems fairly quickly in South Dunedin, especially in winter when the groundwater levels are already high. And that's because the land under South Dunedin has to soak up all the rainfall from the surrounding suburbs. That's already spiked the groundwater up to a higher sort of winter level. And when you get another rainfall event on top of that, it can push those groundwater levels up above the ground. And that means that you have ponding occurring, which can take a long time to drain away, especially if the stormwater system is already overwhelmed with heavy rain events. Even though we've got the, the houses and the roads and a nice dry surface on South Dunedin today, um, underneath the surface there's still a porous, sandy environment. A long time ago, sea level was much lower than it is today. And that meant that behind me, instead of a, a big flat area, there was actually an ancient river valley. What this means is that that sandy, silty kind of matrix that makes up the ground under South Dunedin, it behaves as a bit of a sponge and it can easily soak up lots of water after heavy rainfall or during high tide. A lot of South Dunedin is so low-lying. Um, a lot of it, in fact, is within the tidal range, which means that when the high tide is happening out at the coast here, a lot of the, the ground behind me is actually below the level of high tide. When you think about that, it means that all the rain that's coming through the stormwater system, it can't drain very easily out to sea because the level of the sea is actually higher. The ORC is actively monitoring the level of groundwater around South Dunedin in four different bores. This graph shows the sea level rising and falling twice a day, and that's measured at Green Island. The other line is showing the groundwater at Kennedy Street, and the groundwater level is also rising and falling twice a day with the sea level. And what this means is that the sea is actually soaking in underneath the dunes and into the groundwater. So what happens when there's enough rainfall is the groundwater level can rise to a point where it's at the surface of the ground. And this means that you get sort of permanent puddles appearing and they take a long time to go away, especially in winter.